Hey, Kevin, welcome to the AI360 podcast. Thanks, Jim. I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Great. Well, Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about kind of what you're doing um, in the world today and especially around AI? So I've been with Deloitte for about 20 years and I've spent most of that time doing things around client service. And in the last 90 days, I've been able to take on a lead alliance ro uh, partner role with our Google Alliance. And what's really exciting about it is that Google is a really in the epicenter of AI for our clients. Um, prior to this role, I spent a year driving artificial intelligence practice for our financial services industry. So I had some great exposure into what our clients were doing, specifically banks and insurance companies. And now I'm getting able to see how Google is applying AI technology and capabilities into all of our broad industries that Deloitte is supporting. That's really cool. So, I mean, Kevin, it's kind of hard to think about AI and have it be separate from Google because they've been at the heart of some of this research for years and you're know, contributing to the open domain of, of knowledge in this space and then all the different things they're doing from a product perspective. I mean, you and I have recently had a chance to spend some time with them as well. Like, what are some cool, interesting like AI innovations that you're seeing from Google? And can you help us connect it back to the enterprise too? Because I think sometimes we see these really interesting things in AI, but we're not quite sure about what it actually means for our enterprise clients. Absolutely. So Jim, to your point of Google was really at the front end of this. Um, and what we're also seeing is them being on the front end of applying for the enterprise. Um, mm -hmm. Over the last, I'd say two years, two and a half years, we've seen some really great technology coming out of artificial intelligence from the broad ecosystem. Um, but candidly, at points, it's been, how do I actually apply this and really get value? So um, you and I have talked for years about what's the ROI associated with artificial intelligence. And we know that there's something here, but at times it's been a little elusive to how do we get down to the business. Mm -hmm. Today, what we're seeing with Google is actually taking that um, AI technology, applying it into the enterprise. Specifically, I'll talk about something called enterprise search that we're doing um, with it in that Google is now advancing the ROI um, the ROI journey. And so now we're putting in this technology, we're leveraging it for enterprise search. So think about how hard it is to find anything within your own firewall. Search has been notoriously a problem. Google is advancing that because they do it for the internet. Uh, now we're bringing mm -hmm. that within the four walls um, of each of your enterprises, but it's not just finding things. It's also summarizing. It's taking actions associated with it. It's creating connections. And so if you think about a knowledge worker and how they spend a lot of their time every single day looking for different pieces of information across different teams, Google is accelerating all of that and not even just here's the information you looked for. It's here's what you looked for. Here's what it means. Here are three to four actions you could take against it. And let me also help you take those actions. And, uh, and what I see this really becoming is the foundation for the agentic future. And so we've talked about agents. We've talked about the agentic future. But the reality is if you look within a company, companies are stitched together with lots of different applications. We need something that can traverse each of these different transaction systems, data stores, et cetera. Google's putting in that foundation layer. They're using some, that's what the product we're talking about. It's called agent space. Um, and really I view that as agent number one of the next agentic future. And now we have an ability to build lots of custom agents and even agents that might pass over from one application to another application and actually hand work over no different than people do today. So I'm excited about where Google is going. We're not just cool technology. We're doing <laughs> cool technology that's advancing value for the enterprise. We're going to get an ROI. And so that, from my perspective, means your CTO can talk to your heads of your business, talk about how we're getting value. And by the way, the CFO is going to be excited because they're going to see some real results on this versus just let's do cool technology. I think that's great. And, and I think what's so true to the Google story is search. And I love the, the AI connection back to search and to action because you will know the brand from a search perspective. And that's going to be an easier conversation in the enterprise is to start with search, find the information you need, drive insights, and then take action through this agentic you know, framework technology capabilities. Sounds like a great way for them to go to market and help people drive value from AI. I mean, it, it, so that story makes a lot of sense. What are some challenges that you think your organizations might be facing as they think about applying um, you know, Google's Asian space technology into the market? 
I'll use potentially an overused term, but change management. The reality is, is that companies are made up of a lot of people and people need to change to leverage artificial intelligence. And that change can be hard. Um, we still have a number of things that we have to break down and barriers for acceptance of the technology and being able to leverage it. The other thing that I think is, is critical here is I talked about all the different applications. Every enterprise that we're a part of um, has challenges connecting data across the enterprise. And we talk about data modernization and we talk about business process modernization. The reality is, is some of the same problems we've had for the last 20 years, we still have today. Now, AI is a tool, but ultimately it's still a tool that needs to work through those challenges. Um, fixing those things and being able to create truly straight through processing and more efficient processing, even though we're leveraging AI, it will still be hard. And it is still something that will require spend and time to get your data up to speed so that AI can actually consume it, call it data modernization, as well as aligning the workforce and the processes to deliver against those, those uh, AI promises. Right. Maybe, Kevin, until we have our AI agents that solve for all the change management and data, we still got to take care of all those other aspects of things, too. In um, yeah, exactly. I, I think maybe one other thing that would be really helpful for us to understand would be where could an organization get started? Like we hear a lot about agentic AI. Um, it seems like it's more than just clicking a button to have agents be deployed. Like, Where, where do organizations think about beginning in this journey? I think it's twofold, Jim. So the first is uh, enterprises need to understand the technology stack that they're going to go in with. It's no different than when we were picking ERP platforms or we're picking cloud mm -hmm. platforms. We have to go work with a vendor that's going to be able to provide the capabilities needed for not just today, but also belief that there's going to be there in the next 10 years. And so one of the things I like about Google is they were at the beginning of the AI, AI innovation. The second place is identifying the areas of opportunity to get value. And I go back to that ROI statement. Um, we've worked with a lot of enterprises to say, what can you use AI for? And we'll come up with use cases 300, 500 lines long that talk about how it can work everywhere. And it's a great concept to look for places for AI to use, but that doesn't mean it's actually driving bottom line value. And so I think it's really important for clients to not only figure out the tech, but also where are they going to go bite off and use this technology to drive the value that they're defined against? Because you need to start in a place that you think you can get value. You need to prove it to the enterprise and be able to continue to build that innovation and the, get the flywheel spun up. So I really think those two places are, are, if I was to start an enterprise, where I would start from. Those are awesome. Kevin, thanks for the advice. I really appreciate it. And thanks for all the work you're doing with the Deloitte and Google Alliance. I think it's a great and powerful alliance out there in the market. And hopefully our clients are getting a lot of value from all the hard work uh, we're putting into the relationship. Uh, thanks again. Hopefully you'll join us again soon. Thanks, Jim. I enjoyed being here. Would love to join you next time. Take care. Take care.